Not to be confused with Barangay Kabankalan in Mandao City, Cebu. Kabankalan, officially the city of Kabankalan, Hiligaynon, Dakbanwa, Sayadad Sang Kabankalan, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Kabankalan, Tagalog, Lungsad ng Kabankalan, or simply Kabankalan City, is a first class city in the province of Negros Occidental, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 181,977 people, making it the second most populous city in Negros Occidental next to Bacolod City. Kabangkalan is also the second city with the highest gross and net income in Negros Occidental next to Bacolod. In terms of land area, Kabangkalan City is the largest city in the province of Negros Occidental and is the second largest city in the entire Negros Island next to Bayawan City with a total area of 697.35 square kilometers. The city hosts three major festivals, the Kabangkalan Sinalig every third Sunday of January, celebrated together with Cebu City, Udiakan Sa Kabangkalan and the Charter Anniversary. Kabangkalan is also known for its Mag Aso Falls and the Balakausau Resort. Also located in the city is the main campus of the Central Philippine State University (CPSU). Kabangkalan City won the major award as the best performing city in Region 6 in the 2011 Regional Search for Excellence in Local Governance (Excel). The award was given during the Pagdaya 2011 program held at the Iloilo Grand Hotel in December 2011. Accessibility Kabangkalan is over an hour's drive south of Bacolod City by private car while public utility vehicles reach the place in about two hours. The city, which serves as the hub of economic activities in southern Negros, is also the takeoff point for various destinations down south, and links the province to Dumaguete City, capital of Negros Oriental, via the Kabangkalan Mabane Highway. Its location roughly halfway between Bacolod and Dumaguete made it to host the regional center of the then Negros Island region, along with neighboring Mabane to its southeast in Negros Oriental. Once completed, the Kabangkalan City Domestic Airport will be the second active airport in the province after the Bacolod Silai International Airport. Geography Kabangkalan occupies the central portion of the southern Negros Island and it's geographically located at 10 degrees north and 122 degrees east. It is bounded on the north by the city of Hamamalan, on the northwest by Panay Gulf, on the southwest by the municipality of Ilog and on the southeast by the province of Negros Oriental. It is 90 kilometers away from Bacolod City and 100 kilometers from Dumaguete City and the southernmost town of Hinoblan. With an area of 697.95 square kilometers, it is the largest city in Negros Occidental and the second largest in the whole Negros Island region, after Bayawan City, which has an area of 699.08 square kilometers. Climate Kabangkalan has type 3 climate condition which means dry season is from December to May while the rainy season is from June to November. Average temperature is 26 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Barangays Kabangkalan City is politically subdivided into 32 barangays. History According to historians, the first inhabitants of Kabangkalan were people who came from neighboring towns. They derived the name Kabangkalan from the word, bankal, a species of a tree that is abundant in the place. The settlers established the barangay form of government, with which every group has its own leader, called the Kapitan. In early years, Kabangkalan started as a barrio of Ilog, a neighboring town of the city today. When Kabangkalan turned into a town in 1903, its first town president was Kapitan Lorenzo Zeko. But in mid-1907, a group of rebels called Kulahan, led by Papa Isio, raided the town and burned down all the houses. However, the people of Kabangkalan quickly recovered and rebuilt the town from the destruction caused by the dissidents. During the Spanish regime, Spaniards taught the people the Spanish language and introduced to them the Roman Catholic religion. When the Americans came, they introduced the democratic form of government. 
During this time, a lot of improvements came to the town and new modern techniques of farming were introduced by the Americans to the local farmers that improved their products. After the American regime, the Japanese occupied the town of Kabankalan. During this time, a recognized guerrilla unit and the local troops of the Philippine Commonwealth Army military were formed to oppose the foreign aggression and many people fled to the mountains to avoid the Japanese military abuse. When the Americans returned to the island to aid Filipino soldiers under the Commonwealth Army and Constabulary and the recognized guerrillas, they helped the people be freed from the Japanese occupation. After the Second World War, the town progressed and started to regain its economy. The establishment of two sugar mills in the 1960s and early 1970s gave the town a boost into the list of the top improving towns of Negros. The town of Cabancalan was declared by then-President Fidel V. Ramos as a chartered city on August 2, 1997, under Republic Act No. 8297. Demographics Major languages are Hiligaynon, followed by Cebuano with English and Filipino being used as second languages. The city is the only place where the Carolan language is used. Due to its geographical area of usage, the Carolan language is classified as a vulnerable language, making its conservation a top priority, as it is vital to the culture and arts of Cabancalan natives. References External links Cabancalan City Official Website Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Statistics Authority Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Chasing Waterfalls, MAG-ASO Falls